Welcome to More You Know. We have Juan with us, and we're going to talk about some general hydraulic stuff today for your trailer, whether it's a dump bed, whatever it is, whatever has hydraulics on there, we're going to kind of give you some tips. But first, this for all the intro. Totally keeping that. Totally keeping that. All right, so Juan, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do here at the Trailer Parts Outlet. All right, well, my name's Juan. I am the sales manager here for the Trailer Parts Outlet, and I got a great team of five knowledgeable salesmen. Which we've met some of them. Yes. Actually, no, at this point, we've met all of them. Jose, Tyler, Sarah, Nicole, and Mariah. True. So that's a great team you have put together. Thank you. And they work well with customers. They know their product knowledge, which is a beautiful thing. And most of all, they help everybody that calls. Yes, sir. So today we're talking about some hydraulics. And first thing we're gonna start off with is how can we extend the life of hydraulic systems? Four main things to remember. You wanna keep it in, keep it clean, keep it dry and keep it cool. All right, so let's uh, let's dive into those. You said four things, so keep it in. So you wanna keep it in as far as it being the most important thing in a hydraulic system. You wanna make sure your fluid stays in your system. You don't want no leak. So in and full, not out and empty. Correct. Beautiful. And you said keep cool. Yeah, so you wanna be mindful um, that your oil is going to get hot so you don't want it to overheat you want to keep it at a fair temperature um if you get it too hot the particle the uh, if you get it too hot the particles are going to start to break down whole little science behind it but you don't want that yeah. so what's a way that we can keep it cool so limit as much use to it as possible so you don't want to normally on a dump trailer it's say 12 loads is pushing your limit. Um, so I know there's two options that we're gonna talk about a little later, but you have the one phase and two phase. Correct. And so that's gravity or power up, gravity down. So Correct. this is actually, if you're gonna be doing a lot of loads, having a gravity down instead of a power down is a lot better to keep it cool and make it last a little longer. In a sense, You're yes. gonna sacrifice some time yes. though. Yes, it's gonna kill you on the time because of the, of the gravity down but it can save your equipment in the long run. Okay. If you go that route. And then keep it dry. Keep it dry. You want to make sure you keep any unnecessary fluids from inside your hydraulic system. Um, water, different oil mixtures. Extra dip. hydraulic fluid that yeah. you might have spilled. Wipe that up before you yeah. turn it on. Sure. You know, that's your baby. Anytime, kind of like your vehicle. Anytime you're going to do oil change or check your oil, add oil. You want to make sure it's clean around the area before you add any fluids to it. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, keep it uh, keep it dry, keep it clean, keep it cool, keep it in. Yeah. So that's a really cool way to remember that. And um, so we're talking about the the length of, you know, extending the life of it. When it comes to maintenance and you're on the job and something goes wrong, what what's a good way to kind of diagnose what's going on? Like, I know we can't get into every scenario here, you know, this is gonna be a five, 10 minute video, yeah. but what's what's some key things to remember? So you want to look for abnormal noises, um, just your high fluid temperature, again, it's one of them, uh, slow operation. So when you use your system, you should, kind of like your car, you, you know when something's wrong. You're going to notice it working faster, working slower, so at that point, need to take into consideration is my fluid running too high or too hot is my fluid too low the charge on my battery the charge on the battery exactly i mean there's plenty of stuff like that, that can go into it but you know just your noising or your noising your noises um any high fluid temperature or just low operation and one of the biggest things with this question that was asked this is not a diagnosis on exactly what's wrong this is right. this is how to tell if something is about to go wrong yes. or is like you, you know with your truck you start hearing that tick yeah. or you start feeling the transmission slip nothing's yeah. absolutely dead at that point but something might happen later keep a, keep an eye on these things now the third question is 
you know, we talked about how to extend the life, you know, things to do there, how to tell if something's about to happen, you know, maintenance wise, like, hey, what's going on here? What are some of the routine maintenance things that we should do and how often should we do them? So you want to check your fluids on a daily basis. Um, kind of like if you're hauling hot shot, you want to do pre-trip inspections. Same thing with your hydraulics. You want to make sure, check for leaks, check for um, if it's low, if it's over full. Check your hoses, see if there's any cracks, rails, or just bubbles is a good sign. But just doing pre-trip inspection on your hydraulic system will save you a lot of time and money down in the long run. But as far as doing the maintenance, I'd recommend after on a new unit after the first 1,000 hours to just to go ahead and do a, a tune-up on it. That means changing the oil, changing any O-rings if your system has any. Just that small stuff will keep you from being broke down any longer. And, and then, money. then also, I know with Nicole, when we talked about trailer maintenance, yeah, you know, hotshot drivers, they check their stuff, like professional drivers, they check their stuff every single day, if not twice a day when they start up, when they shut yeah. down. And I'd recommend that doing the same steps with your dump trailers. Would you say it's more important for those that don't use it as often because it sits there and it might get, fro you know, freed yes, up, that I kind of thing? Still if you use it on a daily basis, I'd check it maybe twice, three times a day, just because you're using it a lot. If you're doing it on a basically a weekend warrior type deal. Check it on Thursday, fix problems on Friday, yeah. all on Saturday. Yeah, exactly. Um, you still want to go through those simple steps to save you that, that time of being broke down because downtime is costly. Yeah, especially if you're a small business that runs yeah. on the weekends. You know, you get off your nine to five. Friday, you're tired. You don't want to have to deal with that Friday night. Yeah. You want to be able to just get up and go on Saturday. Correct. So as far as the hydraulics go, this can apply. What, what all What all hydraulic systems would this apply to on a trailer? So on your <clears throat> on your dump trailers, your car haulers with a gravity tilt or, or uh, just any kind of hydraulic system, whether it be telescopic, tie rods, or scissor lift. Okay. I'd recommend doing pre-trips or pre-trip inspections on them. Now, there are some fancy trailers out there that have like hydraulic dovetails and that yeah, kind of stuff. Same or, concept. Even yeah. with your, and this is going to be on a different episode, but your hydraulic disc brakes, mm -hmm. you have, there's a checklist that you want to check prior to hitting on the road. But, okay. So that's a whole nother episode in itself, but that is something good yeah. to kind of mention right now are the hydraulic brakes and that kind of stuff that there are systems on there that do need to be checked. Yes, correct. And so. I can dive into that, but like we said, it's going to be on a different episode. So just make sure y'all stay tuned for it. Y'all get to see him again very soon. But Juan, I want to thank you for your time. No problem. And uh, while I've got you here, what's going on that we can uh, tell our viewers about that you know, maybe a special coming up or something that is going on that you want to let our customers know about. So right now we got a fresh shipment of 15K hydraulic disc brakes. Those are some big boys. Oh, they're, so you're heavy haulers. If you're hauling containers or hauling heavy equipment, those are some of the 15K hydraulic disc brakes are one in few in the market. Very so limited. we have a fresh batch of those. Get them while they're good. Yes, sir. All right, guys. It's been a pleasure talking to Juan about hydraulics today. If you're in the market, that 15K axle, that's spot on. Perfect. We have them in stock. But if not, Juan, I wanted to thank you for your time, and we'll see you all in the next episode.